name is Patrick Pulfenbüller and I work for Host Europe. Host Europe is one of the largest hosting providers in Europe. We serve more than 800,000 customers all over Europe and the US with 400 employees. We operate four data centers, especially in Cologne and Leeds, and have more than 50,000 virtual and dedicated servers and operations. We are especially proud of our virtualization infrastructure, which is mainly based on other technologies out there in the market, but especially Hyper-V. For our customers, cloud computing means that they can scale it up and down. Another example of our customers is a marketing agency who provides certain small websites to niche markets. And during Christmas time, they need a huge amount of compute power. During summertime, they don't need anything. And that's what customers look for, for this scalability where we can scale up, but also can scale down. It's very hard to do that yourself for two main reasons. A, you have to design your compute power and your infrastructure for the maximum peak you have over the whole year. So for just one day or one week, in the year, you design your data center, you design your compute power, and for the remaining 364 days, you have idle computing power running around, standing around. Therefore, it's almost impossible to do it yourself with your existing data center. And that's why people start to outsource it to companies like us. Hi, I'm Fergus Jarvis. I'm a partner in OCNC's London office, and OCNC is a global strategy consultancy. So we've been doing considerable amounts of research into what some of the key uh, customer buying factors are and uh, what motivates the decision to shift um, investment from traditional IT models to more cloud computing-based models. The cloud can give people operating flexibility, which enables them to um, build business models that they can, they can take to their customers at lower price points and with more flexibility and more, uh, more of a dynamic offering, which you know, clearly is important um, for most SMEs as they, uh, as they continue to grow their businesses. There's a number of factors that, that um, companies buying cloud are, are considering that have come through very strongly in our research. I think many of them are the traditional types of things that, uh, that you'll have heard mentioned, things like security, things like flexibility and scalability. However, I think there's also a number of factors which we'd bundle up in the context of reliability. And they're quite soft factors that are hard to actually prove out. Um, but really what we mean is things like, can I actually um, reference and understand that the company that I'm talking to actually has a robust base and these, these solutions have worked with other like companies. So referenceability is very important. And um, secondly, actually, can I test and um, run the systems in parallel with my existing system so that I can get comfortable that this decision, which is a fairly significant decision, is one that I can make in complete confidence that it's going to work. In, in terms of questions that you should be asking a hosting company if you're considering, a, considering cloud computing, I think you know, the most important one really is, can they actually demonstrate the economic benefits um, of of, of me implementing a cloud solution and can they demonstrate that the proposition and solution that's being suggested is one that is flexible enough to grow and, and develop as my business develops. The first questions I get from my customers are always about security, it's about being locked in and it's about scalability. Scalability means customers ask me normally, can I really scale from one core to thousands? Security is always about how secure is my data? Is it secure or can it be breached by my competitors who are who might be next door. I think companies who wait will miss out eventually because you, it's like in the 1900s when electricity started and everybody built his own diesel generator, has its own power supply on site and companies who did not adjust to common power grid did not buy the electricity from the common power grid, eventually had a big disadvantage because the cost of providing electricity at that time on site became very fast, totally uncompetitive and very pricely compared to just buying it from the grid. And I see the same thing happening right now here. Different chain, different situation, different century, but still the same from the overall holistic view. So you need to adopt, otherwise you will lose in my opinion.